Have you ever felt like life's challenges were too overwhelming, making you question your strength and resolve? It's a feeling that many of us know all too well. When setbacks pile up and the path forward seems obscured by doubt and hardship, it's easy to consider giving up. But what if I told you that these very moments, when you feel closest to surrender, are often when you're on the brink of a breakthrough? This idea is at the heart of Stoic philosophy, which offers profound wisdom to help us dig deep and find inner strength precisely when we need it most. Today we will explore three powerful lessons rooted in Stoicism that can transform your perspective and fortify your resilience, embracing pain as a teacher, understanding the power of solitude, and letting go of rigid goals. 1. Embrace pain as a teacher. In our modern society, pain is often seen as an enemy, something to be avoided, numbed or escaped. From physical discomfort to emotional distress, our instinct is to shy away from anything that causes us suffering. However, Stoicism presents a radically different perspective. Pain is not your enemy, it is your greatest teacher. This philosophy encourages us to confront pain head-on, to endure it and learn from it, recognizing that suffering is an inevitable part of life that shapes our character and reveals our true strength. Pain, according to the Stoics, strips away the superficial layers of our existence, demanding that we face ourselves raw and unfiltered. It forces us to confront our fears, insecurities and vulnerabilities, providing an unparalleled opportunity for personal growth. For instance, when I lost my job during a particularly difficult period in my life, the pain was overwhelming. Each day felt like a struggle just to get out of bed, and I was consumed by a sense of failure and despair. However, it was through this intense discomfort that I stumbled upon a stoic principle that would change my life. Pain is a teacher. At first, this idea felt counterintuitive. How could suffering possibly be beneficial? But as I sat with my pain, I began to see its lessons. It pushed me to question my values and priorities, forcing me to examine what truly mattered to me. The experience became a mirror, reflecting my deepest truths and driving me to grow in ways I never thought possible. This shift in perspective allowed me to transform my pain into a source of strength and resilience. Stoicism teaches us that enduring pain and hardship is similar to physical training. Just as lifting weights tears muscle fibers to build stronger muscles, enduring emotional and mental pain breaks us down only to build us up stronger than before. This analogy highlights the transformative power of suffering. Each moment of pain is an opportunity to become more resilient, more capable, and more understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The Stoic approach to pain can be applied in various aspects of life. In relationships, it encourages us to face conflicts and misunderstandings with courage and honesty, using these moments to deepen our connections and learn more about ourselves and others. In our careers, it drives us to tackle challenges and setbacks with determination, recognizing that each obstacle is a stepping stone towards greater competence and success. In our personal growth, it pushes us to confront our fears and insecurities, transforming them into strengths. One profound example of this principle in action is the story of Viktor Frankl, a psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor. In his memoir, Man's Search for Meaning, Frankl describes how he found purpose and meaning even in the most horrific conditions of Nazi concentration camps. His suffering became a profound teacher, revealing the depths of human resilience and the importance of finding meaning in every situation. Frankl's experiences echo the stoic belief that pain, when embraced and understood, can lead to the most profound personal growth. 2. Solitude is power. 
In a world that glorifies constant connectivity and social interaction, the idea of embracing solitude might seem radical, even counterintuitive. We are often led to believe that being alone equates to loneliness and that our worth is tied to our social connections and the validation we receive from others. However, Stoic philosophy teaches us that solitude is not a sign of failure or social rejection. Rather, it is a powerful state that allows us to find clarity, strength, and a deeper connection with our inner selves. Solitude offers a unique opportunity to step back from the noise and distractions of the external world and tune into our thoughts and feelings. It is a space where we can reflect, reset, and reconnect with our inner values and purpose. During times of solitude, we can confront our fears, question our assumptions, and rediscover what truly matters to us. This introspection is crucial for personal growth and resilience. Many of the world's greatest thinkers, artists, and leaders have sought solitude as a source of inspiration and strength. For example, when I lost my job and felt abandoned and alone, I initially saw my solitude as a sign of failure. However, instead of seeking distractions, I embraced the silence and used the time to reflect deeply. I went on long hikes, journaled my thoughts, and spent time meditating. These moments of solitude provided me with clarity and a renewed sense of purpose. I realized that my value did not depend on others' opinions, but on my understanding and acceptance of myself. Stoicism teaches that true solitude is not about being antisocial, but about finding balance and strength within oneself. It allows us to silence the external noise and listen to our inner voice, which can often be drowned out by constant interaction and societal expectations. This inner voice is our guiding light, helping us navigate life's challenges with clarity and confidence. In solitude, we can also practice mindfulness and meditation, which are powerful tools for developing self-awareness and emotional resilience. By focusing on the present moment and observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment, we can gain insight into our mental and emotional patterns. This awareness allows us to respond to situations more thoughtfully and deliberately rather than reacting impulsively. Moreover, solitude teaches us to be comfortable with ourselves and to face our fears without the crutch of constant company. It helps us build self-reliance and confidence, knowing that we can stand strong on our own. This inner strength is crucial when we face life's inevitable challenges and setbacks. Solitude is not a retreat from life, but a deeper engagement with it. It provides the space we need to recharge, find our center, and emerge stronger and more focused. When we feel like giving up, taking a step back into solitude can be incredibly powerful. It allows us to regroup, gain perspective, and find the answers we have been seeking. By embracing solitude, we can discover the power within ourselves to overcome adversity and continue on our path with renewed determination. 3. Let go of goals. In contemporary society, setting goals is often seen as essential for achieving success and fulfillment. We are encouraged to create lists, vision boards, and daily affirmations, believing that clear, ambitious goals will help us control our destiny. However, Stoicism offers a different perspective. Goals can become burdens when they start to weigh us down and create unnecessary pressure. The Stoic approach encourages us to let go of rigid goals and focus instead on the process and the present moment. My own experience with goal setting revealed the potential pitfalls. I used to be obsessed with setting goals, convinced that they were the key to controlling my future. However, over time, my goals became a source of anxiety rather than inspiration. Every missed milestone felt like a personal failure, and I was constantly stressed, trying to force progress. When things didn't go as planned, it shattered my confidence. I realized that my rigid goals were trapping me in a cycle of striving and disappointment.
Stoicism teaches us that while it is natural to have aspirations, we should not be enslaved by them. The Stoics believed in focusing on what we can control, our actions and attitudes, rather than outcomes, which are often beyond our control. This shift in focus from rigid goals to the process of living allows us to adapt and grow without the pressure of constant achievement. Letting go of rigid goals does not mean abandoning ambition or settling for mediocrity. It means releasing the pressure of specific outcomes and embracing the flow of life. It involves setting intentions and working diligently, but also being open to where the journey takes us. This flexibility allows for growth and adaptation, making us more resilient and less likely to feel defeated when things don't go as planned. One profound lesson I learned is that life is unpredictable. No matter how meticulously we plan, we cannot control every variable. By letting go of rigid goals, we become more adaptable and open to unexpected opportunities. We learn to trust the process and ourselves. Since I stopped obsessing over specific goals, I have found more peace and satisfaction in my life. I still have dreams and aspirations, but I am not tied to a strict timeline or outcome. I focus on what I can do each day to move forward and trust that the journey will take me where I need to go. This mindset shift is evident in many successful and fulfilled individuals who did not follow a rigid path. They were open to change, willing to pivot, and found joy in the process rather than just the outcome. They understood that true success is about growth, learning, and resilience. The stoic principle of focusing on the journey rather than the destination can transform our approach to life. When we feel burdened by our goals, taking a step back and letting go of the need for specific outcomes can be liberating. By embracing the present moment and giving our best effort, we can find fulfillment in the process. This shift in perspective allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and resilience, knowing that we are exactly where we need to be. 4. Seek challenges, not comfort. In modern society, comfort is often marketed as the ultimate goal. We are encouraged to find secure jobs, live in safe neighborhoods, and surround ourselves with like-minded people. Comfort is equated with success and happiness, but Stoic philosophy offers a different perspective. True strength comes from facing adversity, not avoiding it. Embracing challenges is essential for personal growth and resilience. From a young age, we are conditioned to seek comfort and avoid discomfort. However, this mindset can become a trap, keeping us stagnant and preventing us from realizing our full potential. Challenges force us to grow, pushing us beyond our limits and helping us develop resilience, grit and tenacity. When we deliberately put ourselves in difficult situations, we learn to handle stress and adversity with grace. Think of the great figures in history. They didn't achieve greatness by staying comfortable. They sought out challenges, took risks, and faced their fears head on. For instance, I remember a time in my life when I chose the easy path, taking a job that was stable but uninspiring. My routine was safe but monotonous, and deep down, I felt stagnant. It wasn't until I started embracing challenges that my life began to change. Signing up for a marathon, despite not being a runner, was one such challenge. The training was grueling, but crossing that finish line taught me more about my strength and resilience than any comfort ever could. Challenges are opportunities for growth. They push us to our limits and beyond, breaking us down to build us up stronger. When we regularly challenge ourselves, we build mental toughness that helps us handle whatever life throws our way. Comfort might keep us safe, but it won't make us strong. One of the most significant challenges I ever faced was starting my own business. It was a leap into the unknown, filled with sleepless nights, financial strain, and constant uncertainty. Yet, 
It was also one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. I learned more about myself, my strengths, and my ability to adapt than I ever could have in a comfortable corporate job. This experience reinforced the stoic belief that stepping into the unknown and embracing challenges is essential for discovering our true potential. Stepping into challenges also teaches us resilience. Life is unpredictable and comfort can make us complacent. When we regularly challenge ourselves, we become more adaptable, creative and prepared to seize opportunities. Comfort zones are the enemy of growth. They keep us safe but stagnant. If we want to discover our true potential, we must step out of the familiar and into the unknown. Embrace challenges, seek out adversity, and face your fears head on. It's in these moments of struggle that you'll find your greatest strengths and achieve your most significant growth. 5. Detach from emotions. Emotions are a natural part of the human experience, but they can also cloud judgment and weaken resolve. The stoic approach encourages emotional detachment, not in the sense of becoming cold or indifferent, but rather in gaining control over our reactions. By mastering our emotions, we maintain clarity and strength in the face of adversity. I used to be a slave to my emotions. When things went wrong, I'd get angry, frustrated or despondent. My moods were like a roller coaster, driven by every twist and turn of life. It wasn't until I discovered the stoic principle of emotional detachment that I began to find true peace and strength. Emotions are powerful and can easily overwhelm us, leading to rash decisions and impulsive actions. The Stoics teach that while we cannot control external events, we can control our reactions to them. Detaching from emotions doesn't mean suppressing them or becoming unfeeling. It's about acknowledging your emotions, understanding their origins, and then choosing a rational response. It's the ability to remain centered and composed no matter what life throws at you. For instance, during a particularly challenging period when my personal and professional life seemed to be falling apart simultaneously, my initial reaction was to panic and let stress consume me. But I decided to practice emotional detachment. I started by recognizing my emotions without judgment, acknowledging my fear, anger and sadness. Then I took a step back and asked myself what I could control in the situation. This shift in perspective was transformative. Instead of reacting impulsively, I began to respond thoughtfully. I became more focused on finding solutions rather than dwelling on problems. My clarity and composure not only helped me navigate through the crisis, but also inspired confidence in those around me. Look at some of history's greatest leaders and thinkers. They were not devoid of emotions, but mastered them. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and a Stoic philosopher, faced immense challenges yet maintained inner peace through rational detachment. Nelson Mandela endured decades of imprisonment without letting bitterness consume him, emerging as a beacon of hope and reconciliation. Emotional detachment is a skill that takes practice. It starts with mindfulness, being aware of your emotional triggers and reactions. When you feel a strong emotion rising, pause and breathe. Give yourself a moment to assess the situation rationally. Ask yourself if this reaction is helping or hindering you. Another powerful technique is cognitive reframing. Instead of seeing a setback as a disaster, view it as a challenge or an opportunity for growth. This mental shift can change your emotional response from despair to determination. Detachment from emotions doesn't mean becoming detached from life. It means engaging with life more fully, with a clear and balanced mind. It's about being proactive rather than reactive, resilient rather than brittle. It's about finding strength in calmness and clarity in chaos. When you learn to master your emotions, you become more resilient. 
you can handle stress, disappointment, and even tragedy with grace and strength. You become a pillar of stability for yourself and those around you. Emotional detachment is not about becoming cold-hearted. It's about gaining emotional intelligence and control. 6. Be your own advocate. In a world where we are often encouraged to seek validation from others, the stoic principle of being your own advocate stands out as a crucial lesson. Don't rely on others to validate your worth or fight your battles. Stand up for yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. Self-advocacy is about recognizing your value and demanding respect. It's about taking control of your destiny rather than waiting for others to hand you opportunities. I used to be the type of person who waited for others to recognize my worth and give me what I deserved. Whether it was a promotion at work, validation from friends, or acknowledgement from family, I believed that if I just worked hard and stayed quiet, good things would come my way. But the truth is, waiting for others to advocate for you often leads to disappointment. Here's a raw truth. No one will fight for you as fiercely as you can fight for yourself. The world is full of noise and distractions, and if you don't assert your value, it's easy to be overlooked or taken for granted. Being your own advocate means recognizing your worth and making sure others recognize it too. There was a pivotal moment in my career when I realized this. I had been passed over for a promotion I knew I deserved. Instead of quietly accepting it, I decided to take action. I scheduled a meeting with my boss and laid out my achievements, contributions, and why I believed I was the best candidate for the position. It was nerve-wracking, but it worked. I got the promotion because I spoke up and made my case. Advocating for yourself is not just about career advancement. It's about setting boundaries in your personal life, standing up against unfair treatment, and ensuring your needs are met. It's about being assertive in all areas of your life. This doesn't mean being aggressive or disrespectful. It means being clear, confident and firm about what you deserve. Many people, especially those who are naturally introverted or conflict-averse, struggle with self-advocacy, but it's a skill that can be developed. Start by recognizing your accomplishments and strengths. Write them down if you have to. Practice speaking up in small ways, whether it's sharing your ideas in a meeting or expressing your needs in a relationship. The more you do it, the more confident you'll become. Think of the most successful people you admire. They didn't get where they are by waiting for others to open doors for them. They knocked on those doors themselves, and if they didn't open, they found another way in. They were their own biggest advocates. This is a lesson I've seen time and again in the lives of great leaders, entrepreneurs, and change makers. One of the most empowering realizations you can have is that you are responsible for your own destiny. This means taking charge of your life and not relying on others to propel you forward. When you advocate for yourself, you take control of your narrative. You become the author of your story, not just a character waiting for something to happen. There will be times when advocating for yourself feels uncomfortable. You might fear rejection or backlash, but the discomfort is worth it. Each time you stand up for yourself, you reinforce your self-worth and build your confidence. You send a message to the world and to yourself that you are deserving of respect and opportunities. Being your own advocate also means protecting your mental and emotional well-being. It's about saying no to things that drain you and yes to things that nourish you. It's about prioritizing your needs and not feeling guilty for putting yourself first. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Self-advocacy is a form of self-care. So the next time you find yourself waiting for someone else to recognize your worth or give you what you deserve, remember this. You have the power to advocate for yourself. 7. The Power to Change Your Story 
the stoic principles of seeking challenges, detaching from emotions, and being your own advocate are not just abstract ideas. They are practical tools for daily life. They remind us that true strength comes not from avoiding discomfort, but from facing it head on. By embracing these principles, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. When you feel like giving up, consider embracing these stoic lessons. They provide a roadmap for transforming adversity into opportunity, weakness into strength, and despair into hope. Life is a journey filled with peaks and valleys. There will be moments when you feel invincible and times when you feel like you're at the brink of despair. It's in these valleys, when you feel like giving up, that the principles of Stoicism can guide you through. They remind us that we have the inner strength to endure, to overcome, and to rise again. Think of the many who have walked this path before us, from the ancient Stoics like Seneca and Epictetus, to modern-day icons who have faced tremendous odds. These individuals have shown us that embracing adversity, maintaining integrity, and advocating for oneself are not just philosophical ideals, but practical tools for daily life. I've been there too. I've faced moments of doubt, times when the weight of the world seemed too much to bear. But it was in those moments that I found strength in these stoic lessons. They're not just abstract ideas. They're lifelines that can pull us out of our darkest days and push us towards the light. Every time you choose to endure, every time you decide to push through the pain, you are writing a new chapter in your story, one of resilience, courage, and triumph. You're not alone on this journey. We all face struggles and hardships, but together we can rise above them. Let these lessons be your guide. When you feel like giving up, remember that you have the power to change your story. You have the strength to keep going, to fight for your dreams, and to become the best version of yourself. The road ahead may be tough, but it's also filled with incredible possibilities. By embracing the wisdom of the Stoics, you can navigate the twists and turns with grace and strength. You can find clarity in chaos, resilience in adversity, and hope in despair. You are stronger than you think, and your journey is far from over. So, stay strong, keep going, and embrace the journey. The greatest challenges often precede the most significant breakthroughs. Remember, you are capable of more than you can imagine. Keep the flame of hope alive, and let it guide you through the darkest nights. If you found these lessons helpful, consider sharing them with someone who might need a reminder of their own strength. Together, we can build a community of resilience and empowerment. Remember, the best is yet to come.